It's a new step forward for tenants in several Springfield Gardens apartment buildings as a new owner has stepped forward. This following significant concerns about living conditions and security issues raised by tenants and investigated by the Springfield City officials. And we've learned three, 33 more Springfield Gardens buildings are now up for sale. Western Mass News reporter Glenn Kittle live for us tonight in Springfield after getting answers on the situation. Glenn. Yeah, Chris, Abby, we've learned that Patriot Property LLC has bought four properties off of Springfield Gardens. We spoke with local leaders and an advocate for tenants who tell Western Mass News they hope the new owners can fix long ignored issues. Four apartment buildings formerly under the management of Springfield Gardens have been sold to a new landlord. According to the Hamden County Registry of Deeds, Units 12 through 20 Mattoon Street, 66 Mattoon Street, 70 through 78 Belmont Avenue, and 99 through 103 Federal Street were sold to subsidiaries of Patriot Property LLC out of West Springfield on August 28th. Mayor Dominic Sarno tells Western Mass News the sale is long overdue. They were absolutely despicable uh, property owners and shameful. Uh, in their uh, uh, non-efforts to keep up their properties. And we stand uh, ready uh, to work with those new owners so that we have uh, good housing uh, for all our residents, no matter what creed, color, or background. Springfield Gardens apartment buildings have been plagued with long-time quality of life issues. Tenants have shown Western Mass News buildings plagued with mold, water leaking into the apartments, among numerous quality of life issues that have made headlines for more than a year. Springfield Gardens has also had a heated battle with the city in housing court, where multiple attempts to improve living conditions at the apartments have failed. Springfield's Director of Housing, Geraldine McCafferty, has also confirmed that Springfield Gardens has placed 33 buildings containing 682 units on the market. The landlord asking for just shy of $58 million for the building package. We spoke with Katie Talbot with Neighbor to Neighbor, an advocate for the tenants of Springfield Gardens. She tells Western Mass News people she spoke with are happy with the change in ownership. I have talked to other tenants from uh, across the city and everyone feels the same way. You know, the goal was to get Springfield Gardens web partners out of the city and this is the first step in order to making that happen. So people are excited. However, Talbot tells us she has spoken with tenants who live in properties currently owned by the new owner. She tells Western Mass News there are some quality of life concerns that have been shared with neighbor to neighbor. However, she is optimistic they will be able to work with the new landlords. It's the same concerns when um, in any property where corporate owners are, are uh, making money off of our need for housing. So just want to make sure that like they're really in it to create quality housing. Coming up tonight at 6, we'll talk, we'll talk more with Talbot about those quality of life issues, as well as talk with Mayor Sarno on how he plans on working with the new owner. Reporting live in Springfield, Glenn Kittle, Western Mass News.